assume the crash position. Hold on tight. Take a deep breath for a cartoon cramaganza. Take you inside and turn the pages. Here are your hosts, Henry and Jude. Welcome, Time Kablamdits, to a truly historic event. That's right. Today we're going to bury our very own time capsule, which is sealed shut and won't be opened until the year 3000. It's full of things that will tell the people of the future what it was like to live today. Go ahead, Mr. Foot, and lower her down. There it goes, the first step on its incredible voyage from the present to posterity. I think the future's going to really appreciate the historic stuff I put in there, like Mark McGuire's 70th home run ball, a pair of relaxed fit cargo pants, and Vanilla Ice's comeback CD. So, what did you put in, Henry? Oh, you know, stuff. Hello? Henry? Mom? What are you doing? The show started. I know, but your school called asking me why I hadn't signed your report card. Well, how could I when I haven't even seen it yet? Um, it must have gotten misplaced somewhere. Okay, Mr. Foot, start filling in the hole. Well, I guess without your grades, you won't be able to continue in school. I'll just call them up and tell them you won't be coming back. Cool. Of course, it just won't do for Kablam to employ a middle school dropout. Fortunately, cherry picking season's starting soon, so you should be able to find another job. Cherry picking? Um, Mr. Foot, I think I might have to get something out of the time capsule. Aha! Dateline, Lunch Alamos Weapons Laboratory where the mayor concocts a caustic chemical concoction. Hmm, not bad, but it could use some salt. <laughs> Freeze, Mayor! I'm putting you under arrest for the illegal manufacture of chemical weapons! Oh, yeah? You in what army? This army! Ow! Oh! 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 Ah! Whoopsies! Action League, now. Today's episode, Hey, Who Stole My Face? After a blender blunder, a skilled scientist conducts a risky medical procedure. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Is this the mayor's yes or no? Meanwhile, our heroes nervously await the outcome. This doesn't look good, mates. Anybody got any threes? Go fish! Good news. The operation was a complete success. Welcome back, Chiefster. Wait! Why are you calling him the Chief? Shut your pie hole, Maya! Ow! I'm the Chief? Hmm, yes. I am the Chief. Aren't I? I mean, blast it! I'm the Chief, and I want you to take that criminal to prison! Right away, Chief. No! Wait! You've got it all wrong! That lab idiot switched our faces! I'm the Chief! Yeah, sure. Still working on that insanity defense, huh, Mr. Mayor? What's wrong with justice? Nothing, as long as it doesn't interfere with an evil plan. I was talking about your dog. Oh, my doggy loves me, don't you? Ow! <laughs> Scrappy little hound. How are you feeling, Chief? Parts of you look a little pale. Eh, uh, yes, I'm, uh, pale with rage at that amazing genius, the mayor. We've got to close down that excitingly evil laboratory of his immediately. Now move out on the devil. <laughs> on the devil to your doom. <laughs> Moments later... I'm telling you, I'm the chief! I'm the one responsible for locking all these criminals up! I shouldn't be in here! Hey, look, it's the chief with the mayor's face. Oh, yeah. Let's get him. Uh-oh. 
I've got a gut feeling that something's funny about the chief. Like what? I don't know. Something's different. Sorry I'm late. Now I know what it is. You got a new suit, chief. That's not all I have that's new. Check out my new rolling pin. Later that day... Get ready to feel the burn, action morons. Chief, have you lost your mind? No, just my face. I'm not the chief. I'm the mayor. <laughs> Help! Hot Town, Summer in the City. Does the Action League deserve our pity? Find out in the action-seared conclusion of Action League now. Welcome back, Kablamistanis. Hey, June, look what I found behind the water cooler. A pair of relaxed fit cargo pants. I thought you put these in the time capsule. Huh, that's weird. Hey, that coaster. Vanilla Ice? I know we agreed to put in the latest comeback CD from our favorite white rapper. Um, gosh, that's a shame. These things really belong in the time capsule. Oh, well, maybe next millennium. Hey, that's Mark McGuire's 70th home run ball. What's going on here? Mr. Foot, please dig up the receptacle. Henry, you don't want to make Mr. Foot do all that work. <laughs> it's not fair with what we pay him. What the? Um. I can't think of a better time than now for a little Prometheus and Bob. 900,000 years ago, an alien videotaped his attempts to educate a caveman. The Prometheus and Bob tapes. Tape 403. Dating. Keep your hiner in the recliner. Still to come, Jet Cat. Life with Loopy. And when we return, more Action League now, right here on Kablam! Action League now. Faces exchange. The mayor deranged, the league's funeral arranged. 
As the mayor says goodbye, the chief says... Ow! Ow! That'll teach you to arrest hard-working criminals. Oh! Ow! Ow! Oh! Justice! That boy! Get me out of here! Help! You're feeling hot, hot, hot. Not so fast, mayor! Uh-oh, here's trouble. <laughs> yes, it hurts. Moments later... Thanks for saving us, Chief. Don't thank me! Just give me back my blasted face! Oh, right. Thank goodness! I thought I was gonna be stuck with this ugly mug forever! Good to have you back, Chiefy. <laughs> the end. Well, Kablamers, Henry and I have finally gotten on the same page about this whole time capsule business. See, I had my own ideas about what should go in, and so did June. We had to make some really difficult decisions, so we got together and did the only fair thing. We got a bigger time capsule. Okay, Mr. Foot, lower away. I don't know who'll see this thing next, but it's sure gonna rock their world. Looks like we've got something new to put in the time capsule. A lawsuit. Oh boy, lunch time. I'm starved. And I had the best lunch today. Fruit punch, tuna salad, and chocolate chip cookies. <sighs> You mean your mom's homemade chocolate chip cookies? Yep. Mmm. If you're nice, I might let you have one. Hey, check it out, Todd. Get wet at Wet Park. Grand opening this Saturday. Oh, yeah. I want to be the first one down that brand new, super fast, gut wrenching water slide, the Nauseator. You mean the second one down? Huh? Right behind me. Ha. <laughs> We'll see about that. <laughs> At last, the tide turns. Jet Cat will rule the day she demolished my tidal wave machine. Now, I'm going to destroy her precious Anvil. Ooh, ooh. Jet Cat. <laughs> oh, that is evil. <laughs> Huh? A cry for help. What crummy timing. Hey, maybe Jet Cat can use some backup. I'd make a great super partner. Uh, sure, Todd. Um, why don't you take on the special mission of guarding my cookies till I get back? That's not what I meant, and you know it! Time to fly like a jet, fight like a cat. I'm not getting any water. I won't be able to open my park. Oh, please help. What? No nauseator? Don't call off your blimp just yet. Jet Cat will get to the bottom of this. Blimp? Gee, we don't have a blimp. Wait a minute. If it's not your blimp, something's fishy. Todd better not eat those cookies. It. Okay. Phew. <laughs> Moby Doc, didn't you learn to swim straight after I destroyed your tidal wave machine? <laughs> you know, it's hard to teach an old whale new tricks. 
blimps. But no trick will be able to stop my aqua blimp, kid. When it's done draining your reservoir, I shall have enough water to drown all of Marshville. Yes, all of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a morsel of what's in store for your beloved city. <laughs> Not if I can help it, Plankton Breath. <laughs> My mama told me that if you make a plan, you ought to stick to it. <laughs> Think you're going? Oh, oh good catch, Uncle Clam. <laughs> Clams aren't happy. They're hungry. No one eats before I do. <gasps> you can't take my pal's cookies, you stupid old flint. Just that. No, you wouldn't hurt a whale. I'm, I'm endangered. <laughs> In danger of being lunch, maybe. See? The world's biggest sushi roll. <laughs> what a raw deal. Uh-oh. first one down the nauseator. Are you okay, buddy? Mission accomplished. Your cookies are saved. Thanks. You're the greatest. Maybe next time I'll find you a bigger job. Huh, sidekick? N next time? Go blam Welcome back, co viewers. Good news, we found a place to bury our time capsule where it can't possibly do any more damage. So, if our extremely kind and patient friend is ready to assist us... Come on, Mr. Foot. We promise this is the very last time. Please, please, please. <sighs> Boy. Just think how thrilled future generations will be when they dig up this lovingly prepared message from the past. Wait! There's something down there! Wow! It's a time capsule from the year 1000! Yeah! And it's in our hole! Get it out of there! Just think about it, June. The next time this thing will be opened is in the year 3000. Uh, has anyone seen my phone? Hi, Larry here. You know, my dad's a useful guy to have around the house. He's handy with the hammer and nails. He can change a fuse in five seconds flat. And when it comes to backed up drains, he's king of the clogs. See, kids? The hairball. The major cause of your basic household blockage. Yep, Dad knows his plumbing all right. But one soggy day last January? Don't panic, people. One more plunge, <clears throat> and this puppy's coming up. <laughs> It looked like he'd finally met his match. That's when Loopy figured it was time to lend a helping hand. Maybe I'll go outside and check the main drain pipe. Better wear this, Loopy, or you'll freeze to death out there. Hard to tell a hairball from a hat rack down there. Wait a minute. What's that? Sector 5, drain pipe number 6, contents are as follows. 1. Very large, soggy hairball. 
Hands off, Buster. Who are you calling a hairball? That's not a hairball. That's a little girl. What's a little girl doing pretending to be a hairball? And what are you two doing down here messing with the drains? Drains are our business, young lady. We are the Drain Patrol. We travel the globe, clobbering clogs, battling backups, and hammering hairballs. Hey, maybe you guys can help with my dad's plumbing problems. Way ahead of you, little lady. That's why we're here. Picked up a blip on the sonar this morning. There, it's a big one, all right. Not your standard size hairball, that's for sure. Switching to close range visual now. <laughs> That's the most hideous hairball I've ever seen! That's not a hairball, you big dummy! It's a giant squid! <laughs> Battle stations! Man, the torpedoes! Wait! What are you guys gonna do? Do? What do you think we're gonna do? Blow it up! Hey, slow down, hotshots. Maybe it's just lost. Let me try talking to it first. Oh, all right, all right. But if you're not back in five minutes, old Billy the Squid there is getting the broadside up the stern side. Hey, let me go, Legs for Brains. I'm trying to help you. Help me? Who needs help? Everything's mellow, little sister. But you're blocking my dad's drain. Too bad, small fry. I'm sick of icing my extremities at the bottom of the ocean. <sighs> nope. Life in the dreams is where it's at, baby. Now listen up, Charlie. If you don't butt your blubbery backside in the next 30 seconds, those drain brains in the sub are gonna blast you into calamari chunks. Who cares? It beats going back there to freeze to death. Freeze to death? Wait a minute. I have an idea. See? What did I tell ya? No point in arguing with sea monsters. Prepare to fire torpedoes! Not torpedoes, hairballs! Hey, that is not regulation drain patrol procedure. Put a lid on it, Sewer Sam. <laughs> okay, you two. Man those plunger poles. <laughs> nice knitting, fellas. That should keep him warm and toasty. These threads are happy, baby. Just wait till the other squids check me out. Bye. Bye. Well, by this time, Dad had been plugging away for hours, and he was just about ready to admit defeat when suddenly... Whoa, Nellie! Look out, everybody! Here she comes! Jumping Jiminy! What kind of clog is that? Hey, nice plunging, Pop. Loopy? What were you doing down there? Well, Dad, let's just say I've got friends in low places. Finally, we're all set. We've got our time capsule, we've got our hole, we've got our phone. What better way to end the show than by dropping this sucker into the ground and covering it up with dirt? But wait, we're forgetting someone. Mr. Foot, you've been such a great sport. Are there one or two things you'd like to put into the Kablam time capsule? Uh, June? I, I have to, uh... Forget it, Henroid. You're holding it till the year 3000. Join us again next time! Same Kablam time, same Kablam network! <laughs>